Okay guys, uh, to start this video off, I'd like to give a big thank you uh, to Arcade TV, um, who very generously donated um, this uh, mini PC, it's a little HP PC, nice and tiny. Uh, it runs lovely, uh, it's got an E8400 Core 2 Duo in it, so it's, uh, it's great for emulation. Uh, and one of the other things in this video is the fact that this is running an Intel Series 4 GPU, onboard GPU. So things are looking good for Intel and Nvidia as well, to be fair. Now, my last video shared information about uh, bugs we had in the video driver for RetroArch. Um, I've been able to work around them. Uh, we're still looking into what's going to happen with RetroArch on that side at the minute, but we'll get there, the Libretro team that is. Um, also, um, I'd like to give a shout out to Retro Repair, who's been doing some great work on MME for CRT. Um, whether that be additions to the actual uh, switch res core or communications with the actual um, core developers to get the right information uh, sent out to to switch res um, so let's let's move on um, we'll give you a nice view of how smooth the switching is now this is wipeout uh, on the PlayStation so we know that there is quite a few resolutions on boot um, and also the interlaced uh, bug is being fixed in this version as well. So at the moment this is the interlaced resolution. Now I'm pretty sure yourself you did not see that switch to 240p, but it clearly has. stick on a Sonic 2 for you so you can see that switching from aggressive to interlaced as well. And again, did you see the switch? Lovely and smooth, looking really good. Uh, not that SNES switches, but let's just show you another resolution as well on the Intel GPU. And again, did you see the switch across? No. And hopefully this will only get better and faster. So just to end this video off, it's nearly been a year to the day uh, when I very first started working on MME for CRT, um, which is obviously known as Switch Res, CRT Switch Res. So what I'm going to do, now I've been donated this lovely test rig, I will be uh, raffling off my old test rig. Um, we set up very similar to this. Um, so if anyone wants to... Yeah, sorry about that. My uh, phone died, so I had to charge it up and start the video again. Um, so this is going to chop in here. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, I am going to raffle off my old test rig. Um, now I've been donated this uh, new test rig from Arcade TV. Now to enter the raffle, um, all you need to do is donate. You can donate as minimum as a pound. Um, the more you donate, the more times your name will go in the hat. Uh, the winner will be picked at the end of March, and no entries before the 1st of March will be counted. Uh, I just need to make it all fair for everybody. Um, one of the main reasons for me doing this um, is the fact that I don't think this is sort of widely known in the industry. I don't think many people know this exists. 
Um, so I'm hoping to advertise with this a little bit so, you know, other people are aware that it is here. You know, we can all play the games as they were meant to be, the way we remember them. Um, so yeah, um, this will be posted up on the forum, so if anyone wants to join in or advertise this elsewhere, that would be fantastic. 